Welcome back to the one and only Bruce. This time we're going to be starting off our Let's Play. Although it's not going to be a completely blind Let's Play because I've been playing it for a fair amount of time today. It is extremely addictive, a lot like Civilization. And I've been looking at the wiki as well. It's a very good wiki that the developers have made because this game is rather in depth. Although it might not look like it, there's a lot to it. So anyway, let's start off a new game. And it's not really completely a new game. I'll get into what it is as we play and move on we'll be playing an error game mode you can play free play but you will not progress so that's why i haven't even tried free play yet and then we've got like the tutorials so we will just stick up with the error game mode and we can only play 30 minute lengths at the moment so let's go ahead and start that off and 30 minutes is the perfect time for a let's play episode hopefully all of you guys will enjoy it just as much as you seem to have enjoyed the last episode so this is the little menu screen that we have and we need to unlock certain um, developments or achievements. So try to achieve different developments so we may grow in power, achieve three more developments to advance to the next level. Developments not yet achieved. Now we can see the developments that we could go for. Uh, let's see what we could try to go for. Finish an error with 450 prosperity. That shouldn't be too hard. Finish an error era with a village which has 250 prosperity that seems pretty good let's just go start the game here we go we start off with all four monsters let's get right down to business and set up an ocean first off we'll create a forest as soon as we can now these three icons are those developments that we were looking at before let's just wait up okay he's done his water thing forest up over here so this is dark gray. Now it is like mud. We'll call it mud because that's wastelands and this is wastelands, but it's wet. So you can uh, place fertile and lush grounds on there. Let's build a swamp over here as well. Let's get down to business. Over with you, I'll place a fruit over here. We don't really need the rock monster as of yet, but we do need to concentrate a little bit. Although, of course, we can relax and enjoy the sceneries now over here means that there's a nomad about and that we have nomads available there's one of them there is created frost pot or frost port tribe which has been settled here are the boundaries of it and we've got blueberries uh, in the meantime talking about blueberries let's also go to the swamp guy and put up a couple of herbs so that way we can start our own little town over here now we've got a challenge over here that we need to go ahead and do, which will really help out just with the specializations for the city. So this village wants to build a school for their kids. We've got 10 minutes left and need 15 technology and 15 food in use. So that's not going to be difficult at all. So I've got blueberries, but plus 10 food if next to an apple tree, dandelion or strawberry. Okay. So this gives us a lot more points if it's next to a strawberry. What I'll do is I'll place another fruit over here. I'm hoping this still counts as, as our... No, it doesn't count as our area of influence. So what we'll do is we'll just wait up a bit on the fruit plant. And this time, where is... Okay. We still need a bit more prosperity for a new nomad. We need one more point, which isn't going to be difficult at all. Spin all the way back over here. Now let's go get the root plants. This time, we'll place it on the other side. There we go. So over here, there'll be blueberries. And over here, I'll place strawberries. That's what we'll do. So a new nomad is roaming the planet looking for a place to settle a new village. Make a nice place for it to settle with some natural resources. If you don't make a nice place, the nomad might end up settling close to another village, rivaling for resources. Press the road cross. Okay, red cross. So that's why it's always good to separate certain villages by water and oceans because that way they won't be having any fights. I um, will go through the tutorial so you guys will be able to see that and uh, we, we do get into the fighting a little bit there. Anyways, we're still in the first act of the game I'd say so 
we still need to complete those three objectives. So, a swamp village is settled, a swamp villages often start projects that require technology. Try using advanced minerals and herb plants within the village borders. So we've already been using herbs over here and for each mineral next to it. So we'll get the rock monster and we'll settle up with some advanced minerals which also help out with science and technology. But we really need to get cracking over here. Now we've got another challenge starting up. But this blueberry tree right over here where this fine young lady, fine two young lasses are picking up and foraging. Uh, we will go ahead and go to this tree, use the leaf aspect, use it over here, which then unlocks strawberries. So we can transform them or transmute them, transmutate them to strawberries. And now, as you can see, the blueberries have added 10 food. So that way is how you can increase the food amounts. That's pretty sweet. Now back on over here, I click up over here on the top left so that way we can have a better look at the projects that we're working on. So the school and over here is a droid where we need 30 technology so we'll get that easy. Not a problem. What mine is this? Marble. So activate symbiosis with 5 technology in use. So we already have that. And plus 6 tech and plus 6 wealth if next to a mineral. Okay, what's a mineral? Just another one, okay. So you want two mines next to each other or something. There's another tech mine there. And what type of abilities does the Jord give us? Plus 15 tech, each mineral is within borders, stacks up to three times. So we've got two marble mines so far, though one's being unused. We'll be used soon though as our borders expand and we need a bit more technology over here so we can upgrade a plant with the leaf aspect okay, let's try our luck over here now, I'm still learning about this game there's probably a lot of you guys that know a lot more about this game than me uh, but we are trying our best uh, now, there's 30 minutes, and what happens is you lose all your abilities after the 30 minutes, and uh, you have to pretty much start over again. Uh, so you have to pretty much try and go for a certain amount of objectives for each playthrough. You'll see in the second episode, it'll be a lot clearer. Uh, but we've got a Swamp Bass that has appeared. He can upgrade the following abilities. Uh, so a Swamp Ambassador. We'll put him onto the Swamp Giant, maybe, because we do need a lot more tech. So Swamp Giant is the grotesque looking one. And you come get her on your head. There she is. It looks like one of your villages is getting quite greedy. The greedier villages, the more likely they are to attack other villages. Remember that greed grows if a village grows too fast. You can stop greed from growing by having enough danger within borders, but too much danger will destroy a village. You can also have ore, which allows a village to grow faster without getting greedy. You can read more detailed info in the tooltips. Yada, yada, yada. All right, so we can make some plants. Let's see. Transmutation for a, what is this? A toxic aspect. There we go. Marshmallows, which can create a perfect ecosystem with animals giving more attack and ore. Let's go and use that. So we'll use the toxic aspect on the peppermints. And now they should have the ability to go ahead and transform into marshmallows. Although that was a bit of a mistake, clearly, because I was getting quite a big boost <laughs> through the other plants, through the herbs. So I'm pretty sure I can't like replace anything over here. No. Actually, yeah, we can. There we go. Now we'll use the to toxic aspect once more. Let's see, it's on 14, 17. We'll leave it at that. Okay, you're the ones that are getting greedy. They won't attack, that's way too far for them to attack. But what I need over here is some more tech. So to do that, let's see. 
relief aspects. Food and whore. Although I need science, so. Who's good at science again? It is the swamp monster. Now, of course, because the swamp monster will go ahead and do his own herbs, uh, they are different on every type of terrain. So on swamp, they're peppermint the herbs and over on forests, there'll be something completely different. So let's have a closer look at what they will be now. Dandelions. And th these arrows mean that it's uh, just fertile ground. Level one fertility progressively erases the chance of getting a better aspect up to potent aspect. So I'm not really completely sure and understand how the aspects work, but it seems like it's pretty much luck. You have a 25% chance of a potent, potent toxic aspect and 75% for a lesser toxic aspect, which I guess would unlock some worse things or something of that sort. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to complete this mission in the time required which is three minutes we should be able to but just in case we aren't let's see plus eight ten. okay we're getting a fair amount of time for that how do i place another one there just because i can that won't affect oh it does affect this all right because that board has just expanded very nice so that'll move up a lot quicker now. Now, you go ahead and create another ocean. Um, project is close to running out of time. We will easily finish it. What, is, what else are they telling us? The more rare aspects also give better boosts. That's actually probably a good one to read. Anyways, let's create an ocean. Um, actually, I'll create the ocean. A little bit further up. Not sure where I should play. Well, over here would make the most sense because you can't really expand. Because there'll be more tribes that decide to come up if I place a forest over here as well. So we've got a forest ambassador now because we completed this job. Now, what I can't do is get the swap monster to pick up the ambassador once again and each ambassador gives us different abilities so if I hover over him now you can see that the I guess the sixth icon will be unlocked if I was able to pick up that guy let's go use let's see what this guy does fruit aspects and yeah, well I wouldn't mind a lot of food so what are the things I'm going for finish an area with only one village Okay, we're definitely not getting that. Finished in the area with 450 prosperity. Okay, we're going for the last two. That's for sure, or at least that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. Let's raise a mountain up over here. These mountains are always nice because there's desert that follows. So we'll be able to exploit that. Let's over here, some more dandelions. How far have you guys expanded? Quite a bit now. So, 15 tech or plus tech for each minerals within borders stacks up to three times. So, I could go ahead and uh, get the rock monster once again once he's finished his own job. Although, they do walk slowly, these monsters. Or gods, I guess, what's what they're called, or giants, as many of you guys pointed out in the comments the last episode, because many of you guys come out of hibernation, at least the Scandinavian guys. It's pretty amazing how many Scandinavian people watch YouTube and go on YouTube, I guess, of course. If I had ultra fast Uber hacks or internet like you guys, I'd sit on YouTube all day as well. Of course, Australia's got shocking internet speeds, at least for the time being. Uh, now, we need to place something. I'll place a mineral over here. I'm going to have to, like, walk around the whole earth. All right. Because uh, I do have a nobad walking about, and he is ready. Uh, so. We need to get 450 prosperity. It's going to be quite the challenge. But the more things we build, uh, the better it will be. 
There we go. There's another nomad. And... Thank you. Thank you. Now. Let's go to water. No, no, sorry. Water. Oceans. That's the one. Remember to advance in the game and unlock greater powers and errors. You need to achieve different developments. The possible developments are listed at the start of the game, but also in the unlocks menu. Some are easier than others, so try things, different things to get them all. Let's go have a closer look at the unlocks menu. So there's lots of things that you can unlock, and uh, clearly we've only just brushed past what you can do in the game. Uh, these are the things that I have completed so far. Uh, let's see. Finish an error with three completed upgraded projects. That's going to be quite difficult. I just want to go ahead and try to get as many points as we can. That'll do us well. Anyways, we've got this town over here. They should come up with a special project anytime. Just as I said that. Uh, the village wants to build and maintain a trade post to gain greater wealth. So what you guys want is wealth. That's pretty simple. What we'll go for is precious minerals. Let's just check out what the bonus for this is. Plus eight tech if next to stone. I'm not really sure how to get either of them, but just place that there. All right. Interesting. Oh, well, there we go. We just learnt something on the spot. That was quite a dumb move, wasn't it? Come right back up all the way over here. And raise a mountain up over here. We'll see what it'll do. Hopefully it'll change everything again. Now, we've got another mission, which was... Let's see... This one, Mad Scientist. We've almost got the technology that we need. Really close to it. Let's go get that ugly swamp monster and go for some exotic animals this time. Each mineral next to it. Okay. It would be nice if I had two minerals on either side of it, but of course the town is taking up a lot of space. Boy. And you'd also like a bit of wealth, wouldn't you? There we go. That's a lot more like it. Alright, so, with wealth. I need the wealth over here, so... Some over here. Now, who's got all these special abilities? Upgrades of plants with the fruit aspect. So you're not... Oh, you have dandelion next to you, see? So what I could do is I could use a fruit aspect on the blueberries, which would give me an apple tree. But I'm pretty sure that would lower the amount of food that I'm actually creating, so we don't want that. What I'll do, though, is I'll place an apple tree over here, next to the blueberries there. So I've got to build the blueberries first. Okay, and then use the fruit aspect. There we go, so that's increased to that. Uh, nature is looking great, but there are not many further developed resources. Remember that you can transmute sources by upgrading them for the right aspect ability. Okay. That's what we are doing now. We are getting some apple trees, so that's given us a bit. Actually, it seems like if I go ahead and uh, use fruit aspect and everything, it'll improve the amount of food they're giving us. There we go. Even if it's by three, every little bit does count, though. So, as my, I might as well just keep using it. What's happening over here now? Okay, you'll definitely reach your goals, so that's good. Yeah, but I really need to come up over here. So, we'll get the rock monster. We'll go ahead and get some minerals up in here. If next to an elderberry. Wait, this seems like a good idea, and I'll get the rock guy to do his mineral stuff. There. 
Okay, elderberries. How and what are exactly elderberries? I'm guessing, well, would they be herbs or not? If they aren't, well... well they don't sound like fruits. Do I have any fruits over here? No, that's not a fruit either. Alright, well, let's go try it. Let's bring a fruit up there, replace the peppermints. Even though they are giving us a good amount of science, we need a lot more wealth. And we're going to destroy Hyrock. Damn. Well, who's Hyrock? Crossports. <gasps> I don't want to destroy you, though. I guess we'll have to fail that. Eric's challenge has started. What do you guys want? Food and tech. That sounds pretty easy. There's a lot of work, though, that we've got to do, so let's get cracking. Oh, hello. We completed something. Over here. Very nice. We've got King Suleiman over here. Civilization stuff. Uh, now, what would that unlock? Desert Ambassador, which would upgrade. Okay. Food. Unlocks a Desert Ambassador, which allows minerals to gain the noble aspect, which gives them wealth. And I can't say no to wealth because I need it a lot now. Now, okay. It is getting quite challenging already. We're on 240 points and we don't have all that much time left. Alright. What are you doing? Absolutely nothing. I could, well, I probably should go ahead and uh, do something. Let's just go over here. Create a swamp. Here we go. Here we go. So you guys are attacking now, Frostport tribe. They need to win a war. I'm really curious to see what they're going to do about crossing the river because I've never seen this happen before. It's all live and in real time, so. <laughs> in the meantime, Frost Castle, the guys are gonna, probably gonna get attacked. Yes, yes, I know all that. The guys that are gonna get attacked need to destroy High Rock. Although, they don't really need to destroy High Rock. I can do that. The village is at war with Frostport tribe. All right, you guys have gone too greedy. That's why. I haven't really been keeping tabs on that. And they go in their little cute boats. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Wow, ah, that's really cool. Wow, you guys have a lot of science because of this, isn't it? Because of the special ability that's giving us, which is... Well, what do I need here? Wealth. Plus 15 tech for every mineral rules within his borders. I need a bit more minerals right up over here. Like how we zoom in the more vivid the red color comes and here goes the army. If we zoom out, our world is taking quite a nice shape. Make water there. Oh god. What's happening? They go all getting raped and pillaged. They're losing a couple of citizens, it seems like. And now they're happy. Okay. Do so you haven't won the war? You want more from the giants? What more could you want? Alright, well, we need to get cracking on that wealth. These guys are getting quite unhappy and uh, quite greedy. They need to slow down. Thankfully, I have, but damn. I'm surprised these guys aren't greedy. They're really providing for us, and now. Cancel that. I want a swamp. Do your thing there. next to an animal shelter all right so animal shelter the water giant's good at that so I'll get us some domestic animals hopefully that'll give us a lot more wealth so I do need it 
you need to, well, we need to destroy High Rock. So let's not get too distracted on High Rock. I'm over here. And I'll show you how we destroy things myself. Hopefully we'll at least unlock something this episode. If not, well, at least we had fun. Because <laughs> this game is certainly that. I don't know really what happened with the war. The more greedy red faces, the greedier this village is. And they are pretty damn greedy. I should really just slow down on their expansions. But they're not really growing all that much. Alright, so we've done all that. We just need to destroy High Rock. And then this will be complete. So I'll get the rock monster to come up over here. And then we'll cause an earthquake. It was 55 damage to villages, but less to armies. Now let's go destroy it. Goodbye to all our hard work over here. All for the completion of the mad scientist mission. <laughs> there we go. The, mis the uh, mission has been complete, but the poor boss has been uh, raised. The town was raised. So, actually, there should be a new villager coming up. There is. Any moment now. Probably settle over here. There we go. Just within the range, within the mines as well. That's pretty good. Now, over here. You need to win a war. Actually, it's a good thing that you are so greedy, though. Uh, we need to increase technology use as well. There we go. Shrine challenge has started. Is the shrine challenge a good thing or a bad thing? Pretty easy. Pretty easy. So what do we need? 15 food as well. Let's get the water god and give him a bit of food over here. Unless some of these mines have the special symbiosis to help increase food, but it doesn't seem like it. There they are. You guys better win this war this time. Oh, Alright, and I have this guy over here as well. I've got to use the water monster. The water god, where is he? And what is he doing? He's coming up over here feeding the people. Like the good bloke that he is. Uh, so we need food in use. And a bit more food as well. Alrighty, I'm gonna have to place a bit of fish over there. That shouldn't be too hard. You just really need to win that war. So what's gonna happen? And actually pay attention this time. All right, they get pretty easily destroyed. All right, a couple of spears he get thrown here and there, but that's it. All right, so. You're still greedy as hell. That must be like something to do with the mission though. So I haven't grown in a while, in a long while. Uh, in the meantime, got a bit of forested areas there. If mineral is within range. No, there's no minerals within range, but there will be. All right, now. You come up over here on this side more exact and go work on this water tile that way there'll be some fish and they'll give the people a bit more food i'm pretty happy with the way things are at the moment i guess i do need a bit more tech so let's see this increases tech. The plants, the leaf aspect. Okay. Why don't you come up over here? Wherever you are. Alright. Doesn't have all that far to travel. So now we've got mackerel. This is a natural natural source. Or well, this natural source is an animal. And I don't have any of the abilities for this. But oh, okay. 
Well, we have 86 food. Okay. So that's at least a good thing. We need to win a war. Hopefully you do start a war soon. I'm begging you guys to do it. Let's go get the rock monster. Come on, tell him to come up over here. But see, I don't want to destroy this village all by itself. Because that's not going to be any good. We need food over here. Okay, we're going to get... Not too fast. He's still a bloody greedy. Bastards. Alright, and now it's time for you to get to work. Go and give us a bit of food, but I don't really want the food. I want to change that. And that doesn't really do too much in the scientific aspects of things, so... Maybe an advanced mineral or two will do. I wonder if we can place minerals... No, not under the ocean. Like oil or something. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh no. They don't like our gods. This is new as well. <laughs> oh, poor bastard's got all these prickles on him. All the pitchforks. Alright, so they demand that the gods give them more. Alright, we better start running away then. Alright, we completed the shrine. Thank you. Why are you attacking him? What do these want? Guys wants. Uh, they want... Well, I wouldn't mind a bit of tech. I guess herbs will be good. A bit less food. Alright. So what we've got to do, let's get to work real quick. Come up over here, over on this side. And let's place some advanced minerals, ocean giant. Wow, they really hate him. Oh wow, this is his health bar. I never knew what this little green bar was. That's clearly his health. Let's keep running away then. I mean, we can attack him. And we can use our special abilities, which I guess this one helps other giants out. This one just destroys everything in its path and monsoon. Oh, here we go. We've got so many of these other guys talking to us as well. Alright, we've got one minute left. This is going to be quite interesting to see if we've actually managed to get anything. Actually, Ocean Giants. Where are you? You're over here. Ah, oh, okay. This is this is going to be good. Now, we've unlocked the Monsoon. I didn't even notice what it, we would be unlocking. Are you going to use the Monsoon or not? Here we go. Yes. Is it getting... What is it supposed to do? It digs itself into the ground and upgrades surrounding patches with a fertility boost. All oh, right. It's not really supposed to kill anyone. At least it gives us a health upgrade. What I could do is bring the rock guy over here and then he can use his uh, mega punch. Make short work of everyone. I don't understand how they could possibly be so greedy. Okay, we've got one minute left. It's a damn good minute. And uh, Earthquake. Everyone these guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> There's tombstones now. Oh, someone else died? No. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right, now they're attacking the forest giant. Looks like he's giving him the finger almost, because that guy is shooting him in the backside of the back leg at least. Wow, he's losing a lot of health. And that was it. No? What's happened to him? 
Who knows, but they need to win a war now. And they won't do that. See, so you can't control them. They should have won a war against these guys. Hmm. Oh. Well, did we unlock anything? I don't think we did. Nope. These are the ones that I've done so far, which are finish an era with the forest village, which is 100 village prosperity. Finish an era with 250 prosperity. Finish an era with a completed upgraded project. And finish an era with a swamp village, which is 100 village prosperity. If only what would have been much, much better is if there was a better overview of things. And uh, now we can play in free play, but that doesn't really count to the, the main storyline. We'll be back with another episode in the first act or the first era, is what they call it in the game. And uh, hopefully, after I go ahead and uh, do my best and try my best, we'll be able to find some um, easier developments. Let's see, you finish an era with only one village, which is 175 prosperity. See, I guess the way that you do have to play is play to the development, not just do what I do. I did the last episode and uh, or this one and just pretty much try to appease everyone. You gotta go for one development uh, mission. And finish an era, okay. I guess we could go with both of these. I mean, they do seem plausible to do in one turn, but we really need to go ahead and uh, do that. We'll be back next episode, and uh, we'll be back at the same era. And uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you keep on smacking that like button. You really got, you really did make me happy last episode, so it seems like this is quite a good game. Anyways, until next time, I'll see you guys later.